Welcome back everyone. So today we are doing a diptych. I thought I would try a little flip and drag across it. Maybe double. I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe, maybe I've... But I do know that I want to start off by putting down a brown base. So let's get that done and we'll be right back. And as always, I'm always, always, always looking for the best pour to represent coffee. You may notice I have this little piece right here sticking in between. It's because this is two canvases put together to create a diptych. And then to bridge that gap in between the two of them, I rolled up a piece of tape, placed it in between, and pinched it. It also helps keep the canvas together a little bit better so it allows me to tilt and adjust the way I need. Alright, so as you guessed it, the colors there are going to be coffee inspired. Starting off with the Lucas Krill Copper, then we have the Meoded Pearl coming in with the Craftsmark Gold, the Blick Acrylic Metallic Brass, the Lucas Krill Gold Bronze, Soho Burnt Umber, and finish it off the Lucas Krill Silver Bronze. We're going to be spraying our cups down with this Giovanni Shine of the Times High Gloss Hair Mist, which has both silicone and dimethicone in it. And then we're just going to do a flip and drag with these colors. I'm just trying to think of a way to incorporate both of them, because once they're done and separate and I split the two canvas, I want them to still have a personality of their own. <laughs> this is so hard. Um, let's get started. And we're going to start with the muted pearl in both of them. For all of the beginners out there who haven't done a flip and drag yet, you don't need a lot of paint. These little cups only hold 30 milliliters of paint, which is a tiny little cup. And that's usually, you can even use less than this, but I like the amount of paint that these put out probably only going to fill it to in between the 30 milliliter and the 15 milliliter line right here. And we're going to come in with this Lucas Krill next. Followed by the Craftsmark Gold. I still have no idea what I'm going to do, but let's dive right in. Ooh, some of that gold came out. Okay. We're just waiting for the paint to drop a little bit. So I like to just lift a little bit, try to release some of that paint which usually goes underneath the base. You can see it start to come out. There with this one. And let's... different. Let's see if we can't tilt a little bit of it this way. Kind of help this side along a little bit. There we go. Oh, it's so crazy. So that Blick, Blick acrylic 
brass. I don't know if you guys are seeing it the way I'm seeing it, but it's coming off with a little bit of like a blue, green, teal undertone to it. So crazy. I'm gonna leave that here and I'm gonna come in with the airbrush now. Start to airbrush some of this out. See if we can't reveal any colors underneath. liking where it's at there we go so you can see how green this is turning it's like a teal green hue to it that's a look really kind of grass you can see it's kind of green you're looking there but it doesn't dry that way it dries a lot warmer so it's, it's a little tripping me up just a bit though for the little bit more difficult part we're just going to come in we're gonna grab this we're gonna pull straight up hopefully there we go. So, in a later video, I want to come in because this is coffee themed, and you know, I love embellishing. When this is dry, we're gonna look at areas like right in here maybe, doing something coffee. Who knows, I might even do it over this. All depends on how this dries. Same with this one. But we'll take a look, we'll see what we can add, how we can make it more coffee themed from there. And yeah. Thank you guys again for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did you guys enjoy this? I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.